All right, this little video is to explain what the uh, work energy theorem is, or more properly, the work kinetic energy theorem. Let's say that we have a, a plane here which is frictionless, like this, and some mass sitting on the plane. This is represented by a box here. This is mass M, and we're going to exert a constant force in this direction. There's no friction, <clears throat> so this mass is going to start off at x equals zero, and after a certain time, it's going to be over here at some value of x. Now, the work done on this mass by the force, the work done is just equal to the force times the distance x. But also, we know that if this force is constant, since F equals MA, that the acceleration will be constant. So we can write that the work is equal to MA times X. But we know that if the acceleration is constant, we know how X develops with time. So we can write this as M times A times one-half A t squared, we got that back in kinematics, so that's equal to m times one-half times a squared times t squared, and that's equal to, that's equal to one-half m times a t squared, but we also know that under constant acceleration that v is equal to a times t. So therefore, the work is equal to one-half m v squared, which is equal to the kinetic energy, or the change in kinetic energy. We started off with it at rest, so the kinetic energy was equal to zero, and now by the time we get over here, under this constant force, it's moving with some speed v, so it has kinetic energy 1 half mv squared. So therefore, the work done on the object is equal to the change in kinetic energy. The work done is equal to delta k. That's the work kinetic energy theorem.